Hi, this is Scott Kilo, CR6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video we're back with another Operator Series video for the TID Radio TDH3. In this one I'm going to show you something kind of interesting. Um, I st actually stumbled upon this uh, elsewhere uh, while I was uh, doing some research on the TDH3. Didn't know this existed. It's it's kind of interesting. The way it's labeled uh, by menu item, it doesn't sound like it's going to be all that interesting, but we're going to talk about an alternative display, and it ties very directly into the video that uh, appeared just before this where we talked about disabling dual watch and then being able to selectively go between the A and the B band with the A and the B button. But if you're a person who finds the display a little too cluttered, um, you only really need or want to monitor one one band or one line of information or one frequency set at a time, uh, and you don't like the dual PTT operation, uh, I've got a simplified display option for you that you might like. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the menu button and we're going to navigate to item number 36 and that is sync. Now sync really, I don't see how that relates to what we're about to do but that's the term they use so we go there and its default is on so we're going to press that blue button again and we're going to turn that off. Now watch what happens to our display when we do this. Boom! So it pulls out um, a lot of the extraneous details and what it leaves us with is one line of information. So we have or, or one band that, that's available. So it turns it into a mono band display instead of a instead of a dual band display. And I don't mean that in terms of uh, VHF versus UHF. I mean in terms of the A and the B band or A and B areas, however you want to refer to that. But we have a lot of the same things that we had before. We have our signal strength meter, our an antenna, we have our, uh, our power rating, our bandwidth, we have our battery uh, indicator, we have our channel name, our channel frequency, our channel memory slot, um, and of course we're still in power save mode. So, um, But another interesting factor is, and again I've talked about how I sort of like and dislike the dual PTT, but what's going to happen now is the PTT normally what we're conditioned to, or should be conditioned to with this radio, is A band is upper, B band is lower, So, but if I uh, press either one, so there's a transmit, and there's a transmit. So we are able to use either PTT in this mode will actually transmit and as I said it eliminates all of that uh, extra information and I've had some people say hey I wish the channel name for instance was in more prominence. This sort of balances it because the channel name and the frequency are both uh, of the same size but the channel name is actually prioritized towards the upper end of the screen. So I thought I'd throw that out there as kind of an interesting alternative uh, for you to, to look at and explore and of course to return that to its normal condition we press our blue button item number 36 sync we uh, select that change that to on press our blue button again press our orange button and we're back to normal again so interesting alternative display that you can experiment with yourself see if you like it see if you don't it is a pretty quick way of uh, of prioritizing a channel and just staying right on that. So uh, in actuality, I kind of like it a little bit better than the a the uh, the previous method of eliminating dual watch. But I'll I'll leave it to you. Now I I noticed coming out of that. I don't know if I had this turned off already or not. Uh, we don't have dual watch on coming out of that. But I can't honestly remember if I had it on at the beginning. So, uh, but we already know from the previous video how to turn that back on. So with that, I'll thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott Kilo Sierra Six Delta Alpha. Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.